we're going to talk about the five don'ts when you're buying a house. Number one, weird as it is, I have to put this up here because people do it. They either quit their job or they decide they're going to change jobs before their loan has closed. You can uh, quit your job, turn in a notice, or accept a new job until after your loan has closed. So please keep that in mind because that's how you're going to repay the loan. And we have to have income and employment stability and job change is instability. So it doesn't necessarily mean you can't close. It just means you won't be able to close on your desired closing date because we'll have to get a new paycheck from the new job if you're getting a new one before you can close. And that's anywhere from a two week to three week delay most times. So don't quit your job, take a new job or turn in your notice that you're going to quit. Number three, don't open new debts. You know, a lot of times when you're going to look for a new house, you're thinking, oh, I'm going to buy some new furniture and I'm going to buy new appliances and maybe a refrigerator and a lawnmower. And all those people are so happy to help you when you come into the store and they find out you're going to buy a house because they know you're going to buy that stuff from them too. Do not give them your driver's license, your social security number, anything that they could use to pull your credit with because that could really keep your loan from closing. So do that all after you've bought the new house. Number three, don't deposit cash. I'm not talking about a couple hundred dollars, like anything more than about a thousand dollars. You're going to have to give a paper trail for, and if you can't give a paper trail for, you don't get credit for other money that's in your bank account that's really yours. We're going to back out the money that was the cash and take that out of the money that you really have legitimately. So don't do that to yourself. Call us and we'll talk to you about ways to handle that, but do not deposit cash without talking to us first. Number three, or number four, excuse me, don't transfer money between accounts. That creates a lot more paperwork. We have to, we like money to sit still when you're buying a house because we have to know really how much money you have. And there's a lag time from when you withdraw money and transfer it because it looks like it's still over here and it's really over here and the bank statements don't really match up. So don't transfer money. That's, that's not a good thing to do. And number five, don't receive gift funds without giving us notice about it first. Gift funds are okay, but we have to document them the right way. And uh, we'll talk about that in another video, but that's another one. Just don't take money without letting us know that you're going to get it. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon.